Leo rising January 2024 looks like a month where you're focused on some health and wellness routine, a new diet, your relationship with your coworkers, and maybe your plan for your career long term. And the journey for you begins on the first when Mercury stations direct in Sagittarius in your fifth house, showing clarity and communication around either a creative endeavor or a romantic relationship. However, <laughs> on this day, Venus and Sagittarius in the fifth is making a square aspect to Saturn and Pisces. So it's like, you know what you want, but it's giving debt. It's like you are financially tied to something in a way that disallows or conflicts with your creative or romantic goals at this point in time. On the fourth, Mars enters Capricorn, showing a desire to will something into existence in the area of your life that is all about health and wellness, eating right, sleeping right, doing what you need to do, again, being a steward of your life, and also like landing the, the, the gig, landing the job, doing things with excellence in the workplace. On the 11th, there's a new moon in Capricorn, which can show that you were like, hey, I think I wanna try out this new diet, this new gym, this new workout routine, and maybe even like start a new job, new moon, new job. <laughs> on the 11th to the 13th, Mars and Capricorn in the sixth is making a trying aspect to Jupiter and Taurus in the 10th, showing that all of your hard work and commitment to your goals is paying off and creating opportunities for you that you may or may not have seen in the career sphere. On the 19th, Venus and Sagittarius makes a square aspect to Neptune and Pisces. So again, you want to have fun in a very specific way, maybe with a specific somebody, but finances got you up. Like, again, debt or you are, somebody else is getting involved with your money in a way that makes you really confused. So don't listen to anybody's financial advice at this point in time. Like, don't put your money where your mouth is right now. On the 19th, uh, we just talked about that. On the 20th, the sun and Pluto enter Aquarius. Also, the Mercury shadow period is over. This is your off season, Aquarius season, which means that the sun is shining in the part of your chart that represents your perfect partner or complement. Uh, there's going to be a lot of changes happening here for you over the next 20 years about intimacy and trust. And so this is like a snapshot of what lessons you will be learning. Pay attention to any opportunities to transform any areas of uncomfortability just pay attention to the themes that show up at this time and then on the 23rd <laughs> venus enters capricorn your sixth house of health wellness day-to-day -day routine your relationship with your co-workers venus is all about blessings showing that good things are happening for you in the workplace you could also be meeting people who could help you get to where you need to be or maybe even meet a romantic partner at work it's fun. On the 25th, there's a full moon in Leo in your first house. This is fun and light. It's not giving breakup energy unless your chart shows differently. This is a moment where you are literally a shooting star, like in the sky. Everyone is excited to see you. You're looking good, feeling good. You're performing well. Your words are following your actions. It's just a moment of hurrah. On the 25th, no, on the 26th, Mars in... Capricorn makes a conjunction to Mercury in Capricorn. Be very careful of communication on this day or around this time period because it's almost as if the fight or flight response is tied to our vocal cords, our, our voice box. So it's easy to argue with people either in the workplace, at the gym, or have very heated debates around like routines. I don't know. It's just fussy. It's giving fuss. On the 27th, Uranus stations direct in Taurus. So for the past couple of months, you have been rethinking your relationship to career and overarching mission. How can you liberate yourself from that rat race, that nine to five? Now that Uranus is going direct, you know how you want to show up and you're ready to cause like the right type of waves in the environment that you're in. And lastly, on the 28th to the 30th, we have Venus and Capricorn making a trine aspect to Jupiter and Taurus. Again, you're killing it at work and with your physical body and overall health. And then Mars and Capricorn is making a trine aspect to Uranus and Taurus. Something about the way that you are physically moving in your day-to-day -day life is creating the type of change that will liberate you 
in the career space. So maybe it's like, oh wow, I didn't know you were capable of accomplishing this much. Here's an opportunity that you didn't see coming or here is an opportunity to relocate or travel. Can you show up on our behalf? So all in all, January is looking pretty sweet for you. If you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can find me at wellandrising.com forward slash services. Toodles.